Good morning. <clears throat> Sorry, I slept with my window open last night, so my voice is all... Alright, so, welcome to Kirby Heart Face Painting, Face Paint Fridays. Um, I'm really excited for this one. This is a melting pizza face. I had, well, not really melting pizza face, uh, but just a slice of pizza on your face, melting cheese. There was a kid at a birthday party. And I absolutely loved that he requested that I do this to him. And um, ever since, I've wanted to do it again, but I haven't had a chance. And since, um, since, uh, what is it? Um, last Friday, I did the donut. I was like, oh my gosh, I could do the pizza too. So I was looking forward to that. So I'm just going to put my hair in a tiny bun to help keep it out of the way. And I want us to get started. Um, I want to say that um, I hope everyone is home and I hope everyone is safe. And I hope that uh, if you have to go out, you know, you go out with a purpose. You don't just go out to go out. You know, you need to get stuff done, which is understood. But um, a lot more people are getting sick. So uh, please be safe out there. Wear your mask, use hand sanitizer, wash your hands, wash Everything, if you buy some clothing, you know, make sure you take it home and wash it before you wear it. Um, just please be safe. And as such, our family is doing our best to stay home and stay quarantined to the best of our abilities. And we are, um, so if you hear background noise, it's because they're, uh, they're, um, just, uh, living their life. So, um, sorry if you see her, my dog, I have her in her bed right now, so she's a little quiet, but the second someone walks past that window, she's going to be barking. So, again, I hope everyone is safe, and I hope your family's doing well, and let's get started with the face paint pizza. Was that the kid? Yes, it was the kid at your birthday party. It was a little blonde boy. Um, yeah, I just loved it. I never, I never got a chance to paint another, no one ever requested it again. So I'm really excited about that. All right, so I'm going to start off with the crust because why not? You know, just like all pizza should be eaten. Just kidding. Actually, I do enjoy eating the crust first. But yeah, it was a, it was a young lawn boy from uh, one of your parties. All right, so I want the crest to be up here. So we are just going to paint a weeble wobbly thick line. This might be a short video. It might not. Depends on how much I ramble. Oh, and happy belated uh, Veterans Day. Because... My grandpa's birthday, Veterans Day, and then my brother's birthday. All right, so now we have this. I want, I don't want to paint the sauce because the sauce is red. Um, so I want to get started on the cheese, and then we can do a line of sauce later. We don't really need that much of a foundation. And I might add a strip of brown. Um, a strip of brown. Uh, underneath the crust for the under crust <laughs> for the pie part <sighs> all right so we are going to have it go here just at the tip of our nose we're gonna do a wonky triangle mm, maybe we'll have it covering our nose and just make it look like it's dripping out of our nose All right, we're gonna fill this in. Make sure you get the grooves right here. I mean, and pizzas are pretty simple. If you just, if a kid wants a pizza, which like I said is very, very rare, um, just you know, uh, you can paint a, a yellow triangle on their face and go from there. Uh, 
I like to, the melty aspect because, you know, if you can go the little extra mile to make it unique, why not? All right. And, of course, I have a hairy eyebrow right there. So we're going to probably replace that with the um, pepperoni later. But we're going to get as much as we can on the outside. I don't typically like to paint this much large of an area. However, due to um, the fact that it is just... Oh, I hate wet paint on my nose. It tickles so bad. Um, see? Uh, it gets really... It kind of gets crusty because I paint it a little thick. On me. On kids, I don't. But on me, I do because I... I'm a wee bit of a perfectionist when it comes to me. On kids, I'm like, you look gorgeous, darling, just gorgeous. And then I start getting perfectionist on them. I had to tell myself to stop. All right. But I was thinking uh, that we could do, um, for Face Paint Fridays, we could do one food and then the other paint. So, so far we have a donut. Um... And I was thinking about doing um, like a gingerbread man. I'm trying to hold off on Christmas themed or like Frozen themed stuff until Christmas. Like the Grinch. Like I want to do the Grinch so bad. But I need to tell myself to simmer down. Um, but yeah, so um, I was thinking about doing one food item and then another, then uh, one of my face paints. Um, there was one, I already did a cupcake on the Dollar Tree video, but I might do another cupcake on this video, or on a regular Friday video. Um, super cheesy pizza. Alright, we are going to round the edges of this cheese pizza, because cheese just doesn't fall in like one line it falls like all over right or it like it's like goopy so we're trying to make a goopy thing so the cool thing about goopy is that you go to the bottom and you make like a teardrop and then you pull it up and you get thinner as you get to the top and that makes it like like it's droopy kind of like a tear like a um like a pizza teardrop and try not to make them all the same size, which, of course, I'm not listening to my own advice. And then we're going to do waves of cheese right here in between the two as we connect it. And you just got to let some of the cheese, I keep saying cheese, because it is cheese. But you got to let the yellow dry, because right now if you look at it, it's bright in some places and dark in others. And that's because when the yellow dries, it dries darker. So, I'm going to fill in my nostril right here, because that's where one of the cheese drippage is. But, if uh, anyone has any requests for certain foods that they would like... Mm, I might change this one. I don't like that. And then we're going to do the wavy. So I probably should have made the pizza bigger because all the cheese is bigger. But hopefully you can get a good view of all that. I have a work meeting later. Well, every day I have a work meeting. And some of, some of my coworkers are like, oh my god, me and my kids, we log on to our work meeting just to see you. And I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Alright, we're going to simmer this guy down. We're just going to have it be around like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that being smaller. I do, however, want to add a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take um, one of my older reds. 
Um, and I'm going to, not it's not really orange, but I'm going to turn it into kind of like an orange. We're going to do like a, no wait, I cut up a sponge, one of my sponges, and I made circles out of it. Ha ha. Look, now we got pepperoni squares. All right. We're going to try to load this up, and then we might have to go back over it. So right now it looks a little brown, so we might have to just go with straight red. But I wanted to do a base of this. And then we're going to do, because pepperoni isn't all red all the time. And it's like red, and then it, it's like has those crispy bits. So we're just adding like crispy, crispy bits to this. We're making this a very well-cooked pepperoni. Well, I need one to cover my eyebrow. All right, let's try it out. We, actually, before you test it out on someone, always test it out on you. See, I'm happy with that. It's not perfect, it's just kind of ugly, which is perfect. Because pep not all pep, I mean, technically pepperoni is perfect because it's all rounded and stuff, but it has like different colors all coursing through. I mean, everything has different colors. All right, so I'm gonna just spritz this because you always want it to soak up. So that's what we're working with. So we're gonna go right here in my eyebrow and push. Perfect. I'm going to go right here and push. I'm going to reload. So I'm just going to dab it in the paint that's still pretty wet for me. Applying it. We're going to test that out and see how that works. And I'm going to go right there. Ah, beautiful. I'm happy with this. Alright, and then we're going to do it again. And we're going to go on the nose. Because why not? Oh! Okay, I think we want one right here. Look, tiny pizzas, tiny pepperonis. I'm going to just, um, I want to make the pepperoni above my eyebrow a little bit bigger so it hides it a little bit better. And you can do this to all the pepperonis if you just want them bigger. You can just rotate your sponge circle or make the circle you make with your um, paintbrush a little bit bigger. And you can make this sponge out of just going Dollar Tree and getting like any like super fine like I don't know see how like it's it's porous but it's very dense pour I guess is what I'm going to stick with. Um, but yeah, always remember to have a drop cloth. I just put ran mine through the wash and so it's nice and clean and crisp and I'm dirtying it up already. So um, I'm going back in with the red. I know it kind of looks funny now, but let's, it'll be, it'll look great as soon as we do more detail. So we're going to put the red sauce on the outside, or right here where the crust meets the cheese. All right, and we're going to clean that off, our brush, and then we're going to dip into the brown. So remember I said that we were going to try to put like um, an under crust or just finish the crust but on the cheese side. So I want it to just appear, you know, like that, just a little bit here and there. I know it looks kind of funky, but you got to show that, that the cheese is uh, melting from something. All right. Hmm. Now we're ready for our outline. I know this seems like a quick one, but we'll try to make this last a wee bit longer. My eyebrow is just so dark. Um, kind of looks like I have a shooting pep, a shooting star pepperoni on my face. How funny would that be? Um. So yeah, if you guys would like to comment on what kind of food you would like me to see, or if there's anything particular. Do you like me to see? I was thinking about maybe doing a turkey next Friday. Um, depending, you know. We'll see how the week goes. Right, so we're going to take this and we're going to just do underlining loops. And we're only going to do it on this side. Ooh. If we just straight up outline it, I mean, it would be cartoony, but we wanted to add a little bit of dimension. 
And then I'm going to close my lips so I can get right here. I wouldn't even mind doing like a dancing taco on my face. <laughs> Alright, we're going to cover the top in a very thin black line. Now it's the time for the sub crust. Like so. And I'm gonna get my brush a little wet before I go back into the black because I want it I want it to go smoothly across my face and I don't want it to stick. All the paint that I use is water soluble, so that's why um all it takes is soap and water to get it off. And to activate it to get it nice and smooth again. So we did that. I'm gonna add a couple of like crust like cr just lines because you know pizza always has that line. And then we're gonna uh, underline the brown like so and then we're just going to do a couple of black dots in the pepperoni to show signs of pepper maybe I don't know I'm just going to have some fun with it You can totally have stopped a while ago. I'm just having fun now. Making sure my pepperoni has freckles. All right, I'm gonna clean off that brush. I'm gonna get my other brush and I think I wanna add some more to the pepperoni. So I'm dipping into my dirty white, which still has some brown left over from last time. And I'm gonna dab the pepperoni as well. This pepperoni now looks more like salami. What are your guys' favorite foods? This is my boyfriend's. That's one of the reasons why I think I like it so much because it's something that he loves. And I'm gonna go inside and be like, babe, yum. <laughs> so the one of the reasons why I stick to the white last or kind of this gray one last is because um it'll uh it's this color tends to adapt to the color around it. Right now, we're going to give it some shininess. We're going to kind of do a little swoop at the end to show that they're uh, round. Hmm, I don't like that one. I'll cover it up with the yellow in a minute. Um, and then I kind of want to do like a... Like it's melting from the edge of the pizza. So I'm trying to do a very light distinguishing line where the pizza began, like the original square, you know? And I'm just going to do a couple of like cheap like lines to show that the pizza is a little cheesy. And then we're just going to do a little bit of like the sauce to look wet. Not a big fan of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that same brush, we're going to get it wet, we're going to go back with the yellow. Kind of clean up a few things. I probably should have done a lighter yellow instead of doing the gray. But you know, you learn from your mistakes and you can always change stuff. So I'm just lightly covering the, the things I just did and now it's looking a lot better to me. We're going to cover right here. And then we're going to go back over right here. It's still yellow, but it's a shade different than what we were doing. So it adds a little bit of a oomph, a little bit of a difference to it. All right, and then we're going to clean out this guy right here.
That guy got a little carry. Okay, so we're gonna take with our napkin. Baby wipes, napkins, um, cotton balls, Q-tips. Q-tips are a good one. A great way to clean things up. So we're gonna get back into here. And we're gonna take fill back up this yellow because I just messed up by grabbing the black and mingling it with my yellow. So, mm, I like it. Certainly melty. Uh, definitely pizza. No denying that. Oh, you know what? I'll take this and we'll outline the pepperoni a little bit. And of course, I'm probably going to get way too carried away, but we'll see. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a cupcake next week. Later today, we are doing a talking shark. So I have the shark that eats my eyeball, which was my very first video um, that I did. So I want to redo that one. Um, and I will. I just don't know when. But today we're going to be doing a talking shark. And then uh, tonight, what did I say I was doing tonight? can't remember but I know it's on my Facebook page so I'll look it up but what do you guys think of my pizza nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my pizza um, if you if you are a little intimidated by like you know the whole melting aspect you could totally just do um, if you mix yellow and red you get like a if you mix yellow red and green you get like a brown and that's what you can make your crust out of um if you don't have brown um i have brown so that's what i was using today um the yellow you can just make a triangle and then you can just i use a sponge because it was easier for me but you can totally make uh, uh pepperonis with circles in your paintbrush but if you guys have any questions or if you guys like this, let me know. If you guys have any requests for next week or future food items you want me to paint, um, let's have fun with it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you were unable to join me live, totally understand. We all, You all have busy lives. And I appreciate you taking time out of your day to join me um, on my videos. So hi to all the kids. I miss you guys. And I hope you guys are doing well in school. And um I will see you at noon for uh, our talking shark. All right. Bye-bye, guys.